feels like vampires have been a part of cinematic fiction forever, doesn't it? That's because they have. Vampires in literary fiction go back as far as the mid to late 1700s, inspired by Serbian folklore. In 1720, it was believed that a Serbian peasant had returned from the grave to exact vengeance on his villagers. His name is Petar Blagovic. And I always thought it was named after my grandfather. Tales of Blagovic, Vlad the Impaler, and other Slavic-sounding some bitches became woven into literary works. 1897's iconic Dracula by Bram Stoker would become the basis for the 1922 German expressionist film Nosferatu, originally intended to be called Dracula, but they weren't able to obtain the rights. That's right, filmmakers had to deal with copyright shit even back in the 1920s. The name of Dracula lives legendary in the Universal Monster movies amazingly portrayed by Bela Lugosi and the Hammer horror films fantastically portrayed by Christopher Lee. It's a timeless tale of horror, this strangely seductive creature of the night that feeds on the blood of the living. So many versions have appeared in pop culture ranging from western style outlaws to villains in comic books, always maintaining a few important elements. Vampires are primarily not really the good guys. Characters are often drawn to the lifestyle of being one, which brings us to being a vampire pretty much just sucks. Can't go on in the daytime, can't process normal food, have to drink the blood of the living to survive, so no matter which way you cut it, you're the fucking villain, deal with it. Which naturally brings us to this. The Twilights, the True Bloods, the Vampire Diaries, romanticized, glorifying tales of how hot and misunderstood vampires are. I want me a vampire guy. Look at that hot swimmer's bod and how he sparkles in the sun. Fuck off. Look, I get it. Vampires have always had an element of the erotic to it. But this whole going to high school for centuries and sparkling in the daytime bullshit is just some dipshit's wet dream. Just like how Fifty Shades of Grey was some dipshit's fanfic about the Twilight characters shifted into some other dipshit's wet dream about sexually abusive rich guys. I buy that horse shit about as much as I buy this guy as a beast. It's just a little crayon scar mark on an otherwise really good looking guy. You're disgusting and selfish. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself, man. On that note, I'm gonna wear my sunglasses at night and slit some redneck bartender's throat with the spurs in my cowboy boots. 